Monster Misfits. Today we're going to do something a little different. I've got the number two and I've got the number seven uh, skull mold from Nightmare Makers. And we're going to pour up a couple of skulls. This one here is just going to be extra, but we're going to use the one without the jaw. So one's without a jaw and one is with a jaw. The one we're using today is the one without the jaw. So what we're going to make out of this, we're going to make a skull cherry bomb and i'm going to show you how to do it very 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 simple all right guys let me get pouring this up and i'll show you what to do so what i got is uh you can use this here this is part a and part b it's a uh, rigid casting foam six pound density a friend of mine gave me some other stuff it's a little lighter it's not as strong and uh with it not being as strong when you pull it out of the mold it will tear some of the mouth up and nose and stuff and that's fine for our application and i'll be using that to make a bunch of these it's real real thin it's you can actually probably crush it if you squeeze it hard enough uh we're going to be using this on our skull wall eventually so i don't want to waste any foam if if i can get it free because that stuff you know two gallon that's over 100 bucks so that being said i got a couple of things here i measure my stuff with uh we're going to takes one of each of these in each skull. So part A and part B, we'll squirt them in there. And uh, well, actually we're gonna mix it up and uh, make two skulls, but we're only gonna use one. There's part A. Now guys, your setup time on this is very, very uh, quick. Uh, it is about 65 degrees today, so it might take a little longer for it to kick, but with it being a chemical reaction, uh, it might set up pretty quick, even though it's a little, you know, 65 degrees. So we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll roll it around, get some up in the teeth. And th guys, these, these ones here don't have to be that perfect because I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna make these uh, for my skull wall. So I, I kind of want a different uh, look, style, and you know, some gnarly looking stuff. So these don't have to be all that perfect. You know, if they're broken in half or broken in pieces, uh, you know, that, that's even better. Uh, I don't know if you can see inside there or not, but you can see it rising. I mean, it, it rises pretty quick. All right, guys, while we're waiting for the skulls to set up and harden, what we're going to do, I got a one inch cap, a CPVC cap, and you can see some writing on there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sand that off. We're going to drill a hole in there, and then we're going to put a wick in it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, how you can see it's all small. So I'm just putting this in a vise. Now this is just optional. You don't have to sand it down. I just figured I'd sand it down and get all the wording off of it. Don't take much. So here we go and I'm just going to cut off maybe six inches of this uh, rope. This is three eighths inch rope. Okay. And we're just going to take some duct or some duct tape, some uh, electrical tape, and we're just going to wrap it. And we're just going to wrap the whole thing. Um, you can paint it if you want to. You can paint it black, but I found this work just as good. And plus, whether it's all frayed out, it'll kind of hide some of that crap. Now, when you do this, go all the way to the top, but leave maybe a quarter inch of your top sticking out. So it looks like, you know, a frayed wick at the top. And I'll show you it here in a minute. And the good thing with this black tape is you can kind of turn and distort your um, wick a little bit. 
Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. Now, now you have a, you know, a frayed. There you go. Frayed top. That's kind of what you're looking for. And I usually just take mine and bend it kind of like a curve like that. Bend it up. Because you're just, you're, all you're going to do is just use that to stick down on top of your cap for a wick. So what I have here, guys, is a step bit. So we're just going to use that to drill in the middle. We'll put our wick. And just draw out, keep test fitting it, see if that's where you want it. And that looks pretty doggone good. So we'll leave it right, right at that. Now you take some hot melt glue and put in there. My glue gun's at the other garage, which you know how all that goes, but it'll hold in there pretty good. And that's it. That's how you make the wick for the bomb. So now uh, we'll see if the bombs or if the skull's ready to pull out, and uh, then I'll show you how to do the skull. Uh, so this is rigid casting foam part B and part A. You get these from uh, Brick in the Yard. Uh, like I said, there it is a little salty. It's like a hundred bucks, and it's one hundred twenty bucks, one hundred twenty dollars, depending on where you live, for a two gallon. So if you can get it for free, that's what I'm saying. Um, so now we demold these and start from the back. Now, if you tear these skulls up, don't worry about it, guys. Just tr try not to tear up as much as possible. You want a little bit of the detail left. Uh, with this thin foam, it's a little hard. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Because we're making a bomb. It's an old school skull cherry bomb. Or whatever you want to call it. So there we go. So we got a little bit of flashing on it. Now if you use the six pound uh, digitsy foam, you will not get all this extra stuff on here. Just, just so you know, uh, I'm using a different kind of casting foam just because I got it for free. So now we're gonna take this over. We're gonna cut the flashing off of this and we're gonna sand it, uh, sand the bottom down and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so what I do, what I, how I get these off guys uh, is I use a hacksaw to trim any of the flashing off. And I usually try to start, you know, where the teeth are. Uh, and just cut down. And just cut section in there. Now to get rid of that piece. And you can continue to cut it. There you go. All right, now since since this foam is really, really uh, sticky and thin, what I'm gonna do with this is I use, uh, this is a horse rasp that I get from Tractor Supply. It's real rough for horses hooves, uh, cause I used to have horses. So what we're gonna do is, you can see I got a flat spot here. We wanna make a groove into this and round this off a little bit. And we're gonna give it just a little bit of an angle, not much, just a little bit of an angle so it doesn't set perfectly level. We want it a little crooked. So when we stick our thing on there, it looks kind of like a bomb. You, you get the gist of the old school round bombs. Okay. So if you want guys, you can go ahead and uh, just cut behind the teeth here. It doesn't take much. And uh, Carve it out. So there you go. See, now you've already got it started. So now we're just gonna take the old horse rasp, kind of pretty it up a little bit. Now this is gonna make a mess. This is this is messy stuff. 
As you see, it doesn't take much to do it. Now there's your skull. All right, so now we want this at an angle, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna sand everything at an angle. Even the, even the front teeth here, we'll give him a little bit of an angle. Don't have to be nothing drastic, just a little bit. Said it, it is kind of nasty. All right. See, we even got marks on it because, like I said, this is a real, real, real light density foam, so it's real easy to dip. Um, you can pour resin over it if you want it real nice and heavy and thick strong and stout and all that good stuff. But for our purposes, this is perfect. So now let's go uh, get it ready. We'll cut a hole in the top of this here, get it ready for a wick. up of these uh, cherry bomb skulls I did I don't think they turned out too bad something different um, there's the two skulls I did this one's all beat up so he looks pretty pretty wicked so I'm saying guys these things don't have to be perfect uh, you can make them however you want. With them all beat up, it makes it look like the old, these old style bombs back in the day, like that, it was all pitted and whatnot. Just kind of looks like that. There's that. Now this one here, I didn't show you how I made this one, but it's pretty simple. I used a six inch uh, foam ball. Just take some spackling. And you put it on the ball and uh, it don't have to be perfect just uh, rub it all over the ball and once you dry sand it down a little bit just kind of make sure the speckling stays on there somewhat but if you do mess up you can put speckling back on it and uh, I cut two little skulls out of the real 99 cent thin foam and I just drew them out, cut them out, put them on here. And uh, these here is just foam from uh, uh, just something that you have laying around like this. I took a piece of foam like this and I just cut pieces out of it and made my cuts. I made a round piece for it and I made these at an angle to put on my bomb. And that's how we got the cherry bomb. We just painted it. So that's how those are. So there you go, guys. Uh, these are our skull cherry bomb that we built. I'll show you how to do the skull and how to put the wick and all that stuff in there and throw my paint job on it. And uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. By far, they're not perfect and I don't want perfect. But there you go, guys. We appreciate everybody watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go or check out the Tree of Terror Facebook page and Monster and Misfits Facebook page. And check out my brothers in arms. That's David the Weird Kid Show and Keith the Cobwebs and Candlesticks YouTube channels. Uh, go show them some love and support. And as always, guys, don't have to be perfect. Just build it. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. Keep it creepy.